Now, with Russell Wilson recently becoming the highest paid player in the NFL, you're not going to believe what he's been spending his millions of dollars on. But back in 2015, just a year after making back-to-back -back Super Bowls and winning one of them, Wilson decided to cash out on a $6.7 million mansion in the Maiden Bower Bay Area right outside of Seattle. He actually bought the home from a current Microsoft manager. This 10,700 square foot home includes seven bedrooms, five bathrooms, five fireplaces, a wine cellar, and many large walk-in pantries that lead right into the chef's kitchen. It's also rumored that Wilson even has a room dedicated specifically to playing some poker. The media room with the movie theater also has a double walk-in doors, and the wine cellar room could fit over 2,000 bottles of wine. And this one-of-a-kind mansion is only three miles down the shoreline from Bill Gates' massive mansion. With it being built in 2008, the mansion was on the market for $8.8 .8 million in 2010, and this is what the listing for the house said. This Mediterranean is truly unique, sitting above Lake Washington with a 220-degree view of the whole lake. Spectacular finishes suited for your world-class buyer. 500-year-old hand-carved entry, custom-painted crafted cabinets carved by Roman artists, marble and granite throughout the panoramic views from every room. That sounds fancy. And right before this past Mother's Day, Russell Wilson also decided to gift his mom with something that he said that she's deserved for a really long time. And he gave her the best Mother's Day present really anyone could ask for. Now Russell took a couple of his family members as well as his mom to this massive house in the suburb of Seattle. And when they got to the front door, Wilson just handed his mom the key and was like, go ahead, go ahead, it's yours. There's actually a video that Wilson posted to his Instagram surprising his mom. Wilson said, this is the key to your house. It's the key to your house. It's your house. Open the door. His mom was obviously shocked. She was instantly like... <laughs> The caption for Wilson's Instagram video said, All these years, you've never asked me for anything. Only thing you ever wanted was for me to love. Well, thanks for loving us the way that you do. This one's for you. I love you, Mama. Happy Mother's Day. God is good. Now, with Russell Wilson leading the Seahawks to a Super Bowl win less than two years after being drafted and being so consistent throughout his career to eventually sign the biggest contract in NFL history, it's no surprise that Russell doesn't mind helping out those who helped him get to this point, gifting them whenever he has a chance. After Wilson recently signed his massive new deal, he wanted to reward the guys in front of him whose jobs are to do nothing but protect him. And with that, he gifted them over $156,000 in total Amazon stock, which came out to about $12,000 a piece for 13 linemen. After gifting his teammates, Russell even talked about this and he said, every Sunday we go to battle together. I wouldn't be where I am today without you working to be great day in and day out. You sacrifice your physical and mental well-being to protect me, which in turn allows me to provide and care for my family. Now it's my turn to return the favor. Now a lot of people probably think $156,000 dollars is not much to the highest paid NFL player, but in the past 10 years, Amazon stock has had a return of 2,200%, which means if that trend continues, that $12,000 per player is going to turn into about $270,000 in just a decade. But this wasn't the first time that Russell felt so generous. Actually, back in 2013, just after being drafted around the Christmas season, Wilson decided to show some of the guys on the offensive side of the ball some love during the holidays, and he did so when he surprised the guys with brand new Xbox Ones. Ooh, all offensive linemen, wide receivers, running backs, tight ends and of course the backup quarterback, which turned out to be around 15 different players receiving the gifts of new Xbox Ones to, you know, have some fun with. Now with Russell Wilson's continued greatness on the field, there's no doubt that he's become an inspiration to many, and with that, he even got a custom jet customized in his honor. Alaska Airlines showed their appreciation for Russell Wilson and his desire to help young kids, as well as many other charities and his appearances in hospitals around the country, where the airline designed a Boeing 737 jet, a $109 million plane with Wilson pictured on it, throwing a football, as well as some other smaller decals that have small sayings around them. The vice president of the airline said, at Alaska, we don't just care about the laws of physics lifting a plane in the air, though that's remarkable no matter how old you are and how often you fly. We know we're all better off when we can create and lift together across communities. Our guests and partners, including our chief football officer, Russell Wilson, inspire us to invest in the next generation, to champion young people, to show kids a path to aviation jobs or whatever their goals and dreams might be. Wilson replied saying, there's a responsibility, loving people, serving, giving back is crucial. I love kids, and that's why I do so much with the Seattle children. That's why I do so much with the Why Not You Foundation. We're raising millions of dollars for cancer, and we're doing other amazing things as well. And Wilson's favorite target, Tyler Lockett, even spoke about Russ, saying, Russell's a great person. You see it in the everyday world around him. He's the same off the field as he is on the field. To me, since I got here, he's been like a big brother, kind of showing me the ropes, introducing me to opportunities that a lot of guys in the league may not ever get. I learn a lot from him, different ways to go about things, whether it's in football, or marketing or things in life, whatever it is that we're talking about, he's already given me a lot that I could carry with me. 
Now in early 2019, Russell and his wife Sierra bought into the Seattle Sounders ownership group, which reportedly cost them around $2 million. Soccer's been one of Wilson's favorite sports growing up, and his two kids also play the sport, which kind of played into his decision. He said, we think soccer is a transformational sport. It changes people's lives. It brings people together from all different countries, all different worlds, all different socioeconomical status, all different races, all different troubles in life. It brings people together. That's what we're excited about with this game, this team, and what we could do with it in Seattle. In the Sounders press conference about the new addition, to the ownership group. Russell says Seattle means so much to me as Sierra. We're fired up about being a part of the Sounders for a long, long time, having ownership in the Sounders and continuing to build that winning culture. When I got here in 2012, Seattle was a place that I felt I could call home forever. And obviously because of the Seahawks and now because of the Sounders, it makes that really come to life. The Pacific Northwest is a place that we love. We get to raise our kids here and have a lot of fun while doing it. We wanna bring the best soccer players in the world right here to Seattle. And the Seattle Sounders actually had a great season this year. And recently they were in the MLS Cup against the Toronto FC. And just a week previous to the championship game, Wilson was asked about his predictions for the game in a post-game interview, and he said, "Well, hopefully we win. That's a good, uh, you know, for the Sounders, that'd be that'd be huge. Um, obviously, it's a, to, I w you know, we wish we could be here to watch it. Um, we'll be traveling on the road, but um, it, I know it'll be a, a a great MLS, you know, championship game. And um, yeah, I'm picking I'm picking the Sounders uh, three one. That's all. I'll, I'll go three one. And oddly enough, the Sounders went on to win the MSL Cup and did so by the score of three to one." Back in 2014, before a preseason game against the Cowboys at Century Link Field in Seattle, Russell Wilson presented a check for $1,060,005 to the Seattle Children's Hospital and his Strong Against Cancer initiative on behalf of his Why Not You Foundation. Wilson spoke about the drive and his donation, saying, The drive is a great event. It brings the community together for a fun evening to raise money for important causes. I love being a part of it. Strong Against Cancer is saving children's lives. Thank you to all of the drive donors and customers of Safeway and the Albertsons who donated to make a difference. Now, someone on Seattle's local radio station told a story about Russell Wilson saying that Russ actually wanted to go to Children's Hospital just days after being drafted. He wanted to go every Tuesday afterwards. Some people questioned whether it was legal for him to walk into a hospital once a week, but nevertheless, he made it happen. Russ actually spoke about his visits and his donations in the past, saying, at the end of the day, it's really about the kids. So Sierra and I are in love with the fact that we get to do this. It's been an amazing experience. We've been able to donate millions of dollars to it. It's been great. Another great way for people to get involved is just by going to your local Safeway or Albertsons. You can purchase something that has a strong against cancer sign or just click yes to donate at the checkout line. It's been groundbreaking and we're helping saving kids lives. So every time someone gets to donate or even just wave and say hi to a kid, that's what makes a difference. The reality is you never know if it's going to be my kids, if it's going to be your kids, if it's going to be your best friend's kids. That's why it's so important, so imperative that we make a difference. And the results are showing. The results are truly showing. That's what we're looking for. On 2015, shortly after signing his first big deal with the Seahawks, Wilson quickly began filling his garage with incredible cars. It started that year with him copying a brand new 2015 Range Rover that he got in all black, including blacked out rims to match it, and of course, a customized sound system. In 2017, Russell Wilson teamed up with Mercedes-Benz of Portland to promote his brand new $100,000 Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon 4x4 lifted version that was completely blacked out, and it was used to show kids around the surrounding cities what it's like to go for a ride in a super nice car, as well as take them to a Mercedes-Benz dealership and give them insight on a good life since they were less fortunate. Wilson even posted a video of him speaking about the work he and Mercedes are doing, and the caption said, shout out to Mercedes-Benz of Portland and Mercedes-Benz of Beaverton for some sweet rides like this. More importantly, thanks to them, Lithia for Kids, and Friends of the Children for partnering with me to make a difference in the community here in Portland and the rest of the Pacific Northwest. But when it comes to cars, Russ also isn't a stranger to gifting them as well. This past Valentine's Day, Russ actually decided to surprise Sierra with matching G-Wagons, and he did so by getting her a brand new black version and taking the silver one for himself. The price of these two G-Wagons together it comes out to around three hundred thousand dollars. And Russell spoke about this gift to his wife, saying, "I think first of all, you inspire me. Um, the way that you care for others, the way that you make the world a better place, how dedicated you are to being great, uh, truly inspires me. Uh, I think second of all, um, the mother that you are. You know how you take care of our children and how you care for them and go wherever, whenever for them is the most amazing thing ever. You know, I, I think third of all, you make me a better man." You challenge my faith, you increase my faith. In the Bible it says when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. 
and I found a good thing in you. The Sierra responded by saying, my face is hurting for the smile this gave me. You always make me speechless. Hashtag blessed. Now, Sierra also has a son from a previous relationship with Future, but Wilson's been spotted over the years treating him like one of his own. He even bought him a matching G-Wagon electric car, and he posted this picture of him in his car in front of his mom's matching Jeep. And funny enough, Russell Wilson's favorite target of the Seahawks, Tyler Lockett, even quoted Wilson's tweet about the G-Wagon and said, yo, where, where's mine? Now, in March of 2018, Russ and Sierra were spotted on a date during the offseason. They pulled up in a rare car that usually isn't driven in the United States. Now this car that Wilson owns is an antique British MG convertible, which brand new cost around $300,000. It's all white and originated in the 1960s, but the most impressive thing about this car is that it's known as one of the fastest sport cars in Britain. But in July of this year, Wilson and Sierra were spotted pulling up to a dinner function and the car that they arrived in shocked everyone. Russell's car was a $325,000 Rolls Royce Cullinan, which is a very rare and different style of Rolls Royce. Most people usually pick the Wraith or the Ghost Editions, which is why this one's so expensive. But this great version they were spotted in easily stood out, and that's why they were met with paparazzi knowing someone special was showing up. Now, two summers ago, Russell and Sierra actually attended the Canada Grand Prix in Montreal, and Russ himself even got to ride one of the new Mercedes SLSs. And he even talked about the experience afterwards. When asked about how his ride was, he said, awesome, absolutely amazing. We were going so fast to the turns, hitting the curbs, and we did some pretty sick spins. That was a pretty amazing experience. I love cars, and I've been getting into it more a lot recently. I'm a huge fan of Lewis and watching him, and with the Mercedes Benz and both it's all been fun. I've been watching a couple races, but I've never been to one before today. And to get the actual experience of it here in Montreal, Sierra and I absolutely love Montreal and we love Canada. So it's been cool to come here and just see it all. Wilson also said it took him back in time to a special day saying, it reminds me a lot like a Super Bowl. The experience, the festives around it. You can see everybody's hyped up for it. It's like a Super Bowl or playoff game every race weekend in each country. Russ also got to hang out with Lewis Hamilton, who's a Mercedes professional driver. And Russ said also pointed out the headphones that the Mercedes team used in the garage. They're identical identical to the ones the Seahawks use in the NFL sideline for play calling communications. It's interesting to see the A20 Bose headphones here in the garage. They're exactly the same as the ones we use in the football field. Also the same ones I use when I fly helicopters. Now there's no question Russell has influenced fans around the world because of his play on field, but interestingly enough, he also inspired ridiculous cars a fan customized. Just a day after the Seahawks lost to the Patriots in the Super Bowl, one fan's car was spotted in Arizona, wrapped in a Seahawks color and emblems, and even had the number 12 on it. Now the number 12 is special to the Seahawks because the old quarterback Sam Atkins was the only person to ever wear number 12 for a team, and you'll notice the Hawks usually run out of their tunnel holding a 12th flag. But the Seahawks fan base also classifies themselves as the 12th man since the team has 11 players on the field at one time. Not only was the car wrapped, but the trailer carrying it as well as the truck pulling the trailer were customized to the team's colorways and logos as well. The special car though is a Lamborghini Gallardo, and the fan took it to Rap Jacks at Tacoma, Washington to get the wraps done on all three of his expensive machines. The owner of Rap Jacks even spoke about wrapping the Lambo saying, that one we did in a bunch of different layers. The white one is on the car's actual pearl white paint. We did a matte apple green accent. We painted the Hawks feather pattern for the hood and the roof and produced the 12s for the sides. We'll take it to charity events and put it on display. People could take pictures and sit in them. It's a fun way to give back. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Click on this video, bro. Trust me, bro. You just, you just need to click on this video. Trust.